Okay, today we're going to tie the Vladi condom worm. It uh, looks uh, similar to these right here. There's some that are tied with a lighter color latex, and then there's a couple there that are pink. You can use a pink latex glove or, uh, you know, a colored condom. Anyway, these are the ones we're going to be tying today. Stuff we want to use, you can use anywhere from a uh, 6 to uh, 12. I wouldn't go any smaller than 12. You don't have enough room between the, the hook tip and the shank to, for the worm body. So anyway, we're going to use a 10 today and uh, make sure you get the long uh, shank on them. Uh, probably a 5X, 4X, 5X. These are fives here. Anyway, um, the other things you'll be needing are some uh, chenille. This is medium sized chenille, both red and purple. You need that. Uh, thread, you can use pink, that's which I prefer. It shines through pretty good. Orange will shine through real well. And you can always use red. Uh, it's your choice. And then we will need uh, a medium sized lead. Um, I just have some on my bobbin here, but anyway, uh, use a medium size because of the size of hook. If you go a uh, a lot larger hook, like a size 6 hook, you can go to a larger size thread or uh, lead. And then I use a fine um, uh, wire, which is uh, you know, the easiest to use for me. A lot of people will use a, um, a monofilament line on it, a little harder to hang on to when you're wrapping. So that's what I like to use. Anyway, uh, the other thing is uh, it's, all, it's a Lottie worm. It uses latex, but uh, I, what I do is I use the latex glove. A couple different uh, kinds here. This is a, a clearer one. This one here is a little more white. Uh, the clear one works the best. Or you can get a pink one and you wind up with pink strips like this. So what I do is I cut, I cut the thumb off, like so, and I come along and I cut the fingers off, and then right where that thumb hole was, you just go right on up, like this, okay, to where you have a flat piece. And then you can take this flat piece. You just roll it whichever way that it has started to roll from the from the path manufacturer. Uh, it's easiest just to roll it up like this or lay it flat on the table and roll it with your hands flat. I'll roll it like this just for demonstration in the camera. Anyway, you get it rolled up. Do you have one? Consistent like a rope. Okay, now the end piece is going to be kind of balled up a little bit, so you just cut, oops, cut that end off. And from that point, you want to make a, you know quarter inch to three eighths inch strips. You're just making little strips like that. Then what you wind up with is a little strip that will unroll like that. So you have a little strip of uh, latex, stretchy latex. Okay, well let's get started here. What I do is I take my hook and I put it in the vise there. And I like to take and bend a little bend in it. You can take a you know, pair, pair of pliers or whatever and just Bend that just a little bit. Okay. Now at this point, you want to start with lead. Take a, a piece of lead wire. And you just start it around there. And you kind of want to go about you know, 18 to 20 wraps. Three, four, five, six, seven. And it gets hard to hang on to down towards the end. What I do is I take my bodkin and I just use it to wrap wire with. And just go right around and around with it to 
Just make sure that they're laying alongside of each other. Laps over, moves over. Slide it together like that so you have a nice even even wrap. Okay, this can slide up to there. And then we're gonna wrap the other part of it around. Sometimes you kind of have to hold it so it doesn't just spin around on you. We're gonna do a, a long wrap on the first part. Slide that back and forth yeah, to where you got like 20 wraps so that it shows that you've got that right there. Okay. Once that's down there nice and tight, you can take a second piece of lead and you start just a little ways back from it. And you're putting a, another wrap. In the center, you can only do you only want to do like eight or ten wraps on that. Break it off. Okay, you cut your excess off. There. So you should have two wraps. You got a, a longer wrap of twenty, another wrap of eight. 8 to 10, whatever it works for you. So you're making that center body taper up to the center. Okay, now you're going to want to grab your thread, whichever color you chose to work with. And you just start here and you get it tied on just a little bit and then you just make some wraps over it. Don't have to be pretty because you're going to cover all this up. You're, all you're doing is securing that down, just like so. I broke my thread. So now we'll start again. through it there. Usually with these ceramic uh, eye tips, start that in there. Suck on it and it comes through. Okay, there we go. Now we'll start again see if I can do this without breaking it. You gotta be careful that the tip of that hook is very sharp and uh, it breaks your thread. Okay, and you get a few wraps in there just tying that down. Take your tag in, cut it off. Okay, now you're going to want to work your way down. And I like to work and put a little thread on there around the butt of that hook. Work like a thread down. And you're going to go down, you're kind of going down the curvature. So once you're down there a little bit, you work your way back up, and you're kind of making a tapered in there. Put most of your thread up close to the lid. Okay, now at that point you're going to want to tie on your wire. So, you can take your wire and just set it on top there. You want a really loose wrap to grab it and then once you get a hold of it you can wrap it all the way up to the front back again. That just makes sure it secures it very well. You're going to want to give yourself, you know, 8-10 inches of that. Uh, I've got it on a, on a bobbin, so I'll just hang the bobbin. Okay. Your next thing you're going to want to do is on the back, you still have your thread 
right here at the back. So what you want to do is you want to tie on a little bit of your chenille and you want to put that on there and just one real loose wrap and pull to yourself. Just enough to tie that on so it doesn't slip. Okay, and then you're going to come up. Now this, you're going to want to wrap around the back. One, two, and like three times. See, now I want to make sure that I'm not coming past center here because I'm going to want to put the purple on that highest point there. So then you take your thread back and you tie it really close to it. Two times in the back. Two or three times in the front. And snip your excess. Okay. Now, you're going to want to with your thread at that same point, you want to put your purple on there. there you go. Remember, if you're loose wrap and see how my thread's not, not acting right, take your bobbin and spin it. And then when you go back, see how the thread behaves itself now? It comes to the back. One real loose wrap, grab a hold of it. A couple of tight ones. Now, you want to go around. Go close to the red once, twice, the third time, and then tie it down. Same as we did before, two times in the back, a couple times in the front, and snip it. Now, we're back to red. Let's take it, tie your red on there, same thing. Oops, I'm spinning my bottom. Real loose wrap, and pull it, pull it yourself. Get that. Now you got that tight in there a little bit. Now you can come around. This you can work your way up that taper a little bit, so where it's hanging, not clear to the eye, but close to the eye of the hook. So you're going to come around once, twice, three times, and straight up. Down. Again, you come around the back twice, around the front two, three, four times, whichever. We're coming to the end of it. Now, what you have here is a red, purple, and red again. So you can tie that down really good. Make sure we don't have anything sticking out. Okay, so what you want to do is Kind of when you work your way to the back now, you want to walk your way back like this and come right on back to the back. That's where you're going to take your latex that we cut out of the glove. One of the things you want to do to help start a little easier is you want to cut that latex so it's at an angle. Like that. See how I cut that at an angle? So I can set that right on the back there. Just lay that right on there. Come around and grab it. One, two, three, four. Make a few wraps like that. And then you can take this back forward. Okay. Now you're going to want to go take your, try to make it flat if you can. Start in the back there and watch the tip of your hook because it'll cut that latex. And you come around. Oops, I let go of it. It's hard, kind of hard to hang on to sometimes. Okay, one. Once you make that first wrap in the back, the back of the bottom worm looks that way. Then you want to go around and op overlap about half of your width. Try to keep this spread out so it's flat. the width. You don't want to get too many wraps on there because then you're just you're making your worm too, you're covering up too much of your color. You want some of that color to shine through. Okay, and then you get to the front. You can go around once, 
twice, three times. Remember, keep the tension on this because that's it, you've been pulling on that and it's a little bit tight. So you want to come around, lay it back this way, come around a bunch of times, eight, ten, twelve times. Make sure that that's secured down. You can pull up on that just a little bit, snip it off tight. And just for security, you can go around just a few more times there. Okay, now your last step is your wire or monofilament, which you put on there. Now we want to counter wrap this. So what I like to do is take a double half hitch, tie that off. Bring my holder over here. You know, you got these holders that you can pull over and hang your bobbin on that. So that's straight out. And the reason you tie that half hitch there so that stays there without unraveling it all off of there. Okay, now you take your wire, and since we're going up and around this way, we want to go the opposite direction. And this is just going to be palmering it forward. You want to leave a space, you're just wrapping, leaving that space kind of like looking like a worm. Just leave that. forward you get up to that point right there now you can take your thread off of your hanger now since you went backwards with the you know you went the opposite direction with the wire you want to also go the opposite direction tying it off so you come around once Twice, three times, lay the wire back this way, come around, tie that off. Sometimes you have to go extreme angle to get that wire. You don't want to get that on there pretty tight. You don't want that to come loose. Okay, now that you've got that fairly secured, you can snip off your wire. Now you can make your double half hitch as a tie off or you can whip finish if you'd rather. You can take your whip, go up and around and lay it right on there like that and just slide it back off like so. Now that you've got that secured, I like to cut my final cut without closing the scissors. You just use the sharp edge of the scissor. Okay. Now that you got that on there, just for security, you want to take and put a little bit of head cement on there. We use tough as nails. If you've got a spinning vise, you can release it and just turn it around. Just try not to get it in the I let them sell for your thread won't, your fishing line won't go through. Hmm. There you have it. A little hair sticking out there, it looks like. Okay, and that's that's the Vladi worm. Okay, that's one way of tying it.